Hey folks, Ben Gilbert here from Engadget, and we have Tim Sweeney, the founder and and head of Epic Games. Is that a fair way of putting it? Sure. <laughs> well, let, how about you tell me your title? Uh, founder, CEO, uh, technical director sometimes. Uh, um, and today we're talking about Unreal Engine 4. Uh, it's the next version of the Unreal Engine that Epic is really well known for. Unreal Engine 3 was huge last generation. It supported some of the biggest games that people played at home, some of the biggest games in terms of mainstream stuff, smaller stuff, across the board, and it became a pretty big industry standard. Um, I, th I think that's fair to say at this point. And Unreal Engine 4, I, I, don't know if, I don't know if it's fair to say that you guys want that same impact there, but I, I would imagine, right? Oh yeah, Unreal Engine 4 has been in development for many years, um, and for the last two years, uh, teams outside of Epic have been used, using it to build their own AAA games. Um, you know, generally it's the kind of engine that scales up to huge uh, projects of any scale, you know, hundreds of developers in some cases. Um, and so that's been ongoing um, and kind of setting the pace for high-end feature development in Unreal Engine 4. But we've been doing a lot of other things at the same time, um, which uh, we're just getting ready to unveil uh, here uh, tomorrow at GDC. And let's move on to those things, right? So you guys are making Unreal Engine 4 much more widely available, right? So I'd, I'd like to, before we jump into that, you actually give me a better idea of how it works if I wanted, if I am X game developer, I want to make a video game in Unreal Engine 4, what do I do right now? Sure, well, you're a developer with a project budget ranging into the tens of millions of dollars, um, you know, you'll contact us and right now negotiate with sales folks some sort of a custom deal, uh, which would involve some combination of uh, paying a very large amount of money up front um, and paying royalties um, on the back end. Um, so that sounds extremely complicated, and I'm not that smart. And I would like a much easier way to do that. It sounds like you might be introducing one today. Is that the truth? That's right. We're opening up Unreal Engine 4 to absolutely everybody. Um, you can subscribe and get complete access to the engine for PC, Mac, iOS, and Android uh, for $19 a month. And if you want to ship a game using Unreal Engine 4, uh, you simply pay Epic 5% of gross revenue. Um, uh, what was it that made you uh, take this new approach? Well, the industry has changed a lot over the past few years. You know, um, from Unreal Engine 1 to Unreal Engine 3, we saw uh, just, you know, development teams grow from tens of people to hundreds of people, and projects just go purely up in scale for a very long period of time. And so our old business model was really set in that environment where we'd expect there was a big team funded by a big publisher, and their lawyers would come to us and negotiate some sort of a contract. But yeah, the past few years has seen a real revolution um, opening up the industry to indie game developers who are not only building amazing games, but also succeeding on a large scale. Um, both financially and in terms of reaching users with great products. Um, so the next stage now for Epic is to reach that audience, to make our complete uh, engine and everything alongside it available to everybody, um, you know, of any size and any scale. And we want to make it completely accessible to uh, those, you know, newer indie teams um, with the same level of uh, features and content and access that our AAA teams have had in the past. So uh, beyond the new payment model, uh, you mentioned this a little bit before in terms of announcing platforms, but there's some new platforms being uh, added to the Unreal Engine portfolio. It's at least Mac. Is that the only one that's being added today, or is that just part of uh, the, uh, the additions? Oh, so what we're launching today, um, you have the complete tool set uh, for development running on PC and Mac. Um, and we have complete support on Mac. Uh, in fact, you know, the Mac, using the engine on the MacBook uh, laptop is the, by far the best laptop experience of uh, any platform. So we're really happy about what we've gotten going there. Um, so you can develop on PC and Mac, and then you can deploy your games and ship them on PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. Um, and that's there today. It's uh, you know, at a point now where we're ready to release and say this is a uh, you know this is our very first release for the mainstream. And we're going a lot further with other platforms in the future. Um, but you know, we're still in the early days of them, and uh, don't have something to announce today. You know, for console support, for example, and we've uh, demonstrated HTML5 support working in the engine where you can output your game, run it in a web browser without any plugins at all. Um, that's up and running, um, and developers can access it. But it's not quite ready for. Uh, for announcing as an officially supported platform, I, I would be uh, I would be silly to not ask if it's going to support VR. It's going to support VR probably, right? Oh yeah, there's some good uh, early Oculus VR support in there. Um, we've been uh, using it really intensively internally at Epic. Um, we have a new G demo that we're going to be showing here at GDC in partnership with Oculus. We're really proud of it, and um, it's just an amazing and vibrant new platform. You know, every week we discover some new things that we hadn't thought of before. Uh, so we're really excited about seeing what will happen with that over the next few months. 
And so we've been talking about engines, but you guys make games. I think you still make uh, games. So I, I'd love to know what this means for that, right? What this means for internal development, whether it's VR stuff or Unreal Engine 4 stuff or maybe other stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, we are remain Epic Games. Um, we're building uh, several next generation games uh, using our engine. Fortnite is the one that has been announced so far. Um, you know, you, uh, you build in structures by day and then defend them against zombie attacks at night. Um, really fun game experience, but uh, it's not something that's going to be uh, talked about a whole lot here at GDC. Um, it's one of our projects in development. There are others that haven't been announced, um, but we're continuing to build big, uh, major games, um, which we'll, you know, you'll be hearing about more over time. Okay, well, I, 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 I thank you very much for taking the time to tell us more about Unreal Engine 4, and I, I guess is there anything else that you'd like to make sure that you impart on, on the folks who are learning about the, the additions to Unreal Engine 4 today? Oh, yeah. Well, the, the major piece of news, which we haven't really touched on, is uh, what we're making available to teams um, you know, under the subscription model. You not only get the uh, complete tools for the engine and the complete feature set that all AAA licensees have access to, you also get the complete C++ source code to the engine. All right. Um, this is something that teams have paid millions of dollars for in the past, um, and you can download it all. Um, it's uh, available through the GitHub community um, for subscribers to Unreal Engine 4. And with it, you can do absolutely anything. If you can think of an idea and you have the perseverance, um, you have absolutely all the tools available to you uh, to build it. And uh, whether or not Epic has every feature you want, um, you, can, you can build it, uh, use our features, and add it yourself uh, with the source code. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Tim, and uh, I look forward to seeing what happens with Unreal Engine 4 in the next few years. An Oppo Find 7, which is the world's first smartphone that can take 50 megapixel pictures. Now, the phone has a 5.5-inch display, but comes...